Hey YouTube, Emmanuel from Tech Insomnia here with a review video for a 2018 Mac Mini. This one is the i3 3.6 gigahertz quad core CPU with 8 gigs of RAM. We're going to uh, unbox the sealed Mac and uh, dive into whether this is still relevant and usable uh, for 2022. So let's jump in. Always nice to open up a fresh Mac. It's like literally. <laughs> hey, we're not too far off from Christmas, so. <laughs> like a kid in Christmas. <laughs> Let's see. How exactly. This should be the slider. Okay. Incredible packaging. Oh, just gorgeous. I mean, I love I love how Mac always knows how to package it so perfectly well like so Here of course we have the computer itself Place that right here We've got the manual Which will contain some Documentation So this will be the power cord. Very nicely packaged. Always good quality from Apple. This one over here. Amazing. So, without further ado, let's hook this puppy up see what it can do now before I hook it up I just want to give some contrast for this brand new uh, 2018 i3 Mac mini just want to give some contrast to show you this is the 2018 i3 and my client is upgrading from a 2010 so figure we got both machines here we just compare them quickly this is a core 2 duo 2010. I was able to get Catalina on this Mac Mini in the past, but it's slow and it's just not up to par. So, I mean, with the prices of what the new ones are going for, we figured for this particular client's needs, this would serve the bill, serve the purpose very, very well. But I mean, in contrast, they're very, very similar. In, in shape, design, and form factor. Very similar. This one seems to have, I guess, the light or camera module. If I'm not mistaken, that is a light. So yeah, without further ado, let's hook this bad boy up and see how she does. So I've got it hooked up now in my workshop. And it looks like this one comes preloaded with Mac OS Catalina, which I can update to the newest version. And that's this is actually great because in my experience to date, this is the most stable version. So that's really, really good. So I've got my client's older Mac Mini hooked up and I remember I had to patch this one because it was unsupported at the time. But in regards to um, Catalina on this uh, 2010, definitely not up to today's standards because it is slow. But I mean, I'm just impressed that you're able to even get Catalina on 2010 in the first place. Just a little background information on that 2010 Mac Mini I mentioned earlier. It's got a slot for two 2.5 inch drives and one of them was actually an SSD. A good one. So if it was still sluggish with this SSD in it and you're in the market for a Mac Mini in 2022, you definitely want to look for something higher than the 2010 model. After confirming with my client, we're going to go ahead and utilize the Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte SSD and turn it into a high-speed external for the new Mac Mini. 
Got the Western Digital Blue solid state hard drive installed in the external now, and I mean, what an incredible external. What a great way to reuse an unused solid state hard drive. Thin, light, beautiful. So I've got the 2018 Mac Mini hooked back up, external ready to go. Now we're gonna test the boot time from power button to ready desktop. So 17 seconds. It's actually 16 but one second delay for me to push the button. Not bad. That's from power button to ready desktop. So we're just gonna do a brief speed test here. Open up Google Chrome. Type in some searches. Cooking, houses, nature. Let's head over to Computers.com opens quick. Products open nicely. Ryzen 7. Very, very nice. Back to Google. Let's open up YouTube. Open up really fast. See how it does with a video. Very fast. Loads up quick. Switch over to 4K. Huh? Didn't take too long to load. Let's go back to 1080p because that's the uh, max of this uh, Dell monitor that it's hooked up to. This is a really great test to always test the power of your graphics card. Have um, streaming video playing and go from full screen, exit full screen, you see the transitions, the video is not affected while it's playing. All in all, very fast and very effective. To sum up, is this late 2018 i3 Mac Mini still worth it in 2022? I think it is. Very fast, very effective. Running OS Catalina, the newest version. Still worth it. Still usable in 2022. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys found value and please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Take care.